Hello friends, I'm gonna stand right here because otherwise my ring light is gonna be blaring in our faces. Okay, I am going to be reorganizing my bookshelf and I'm gonna let you see what they look like currently. I'm not gonna lie, they're a little messy. My office is a little messy and we're gonna reorganize because it's time. It's just, it's the best. Let me show you. So it's actually not that bad for the most part, but then you get to here where like, I don't even fit all of my plethora of books anymore. And then I have a bookshelf in the front room and I have books over here. Like I just have books everywhere and I want them all to fit. And so my plan is to try and take the bookshelf that's in my living room and move it right there and then move all of my calendars onto this wall and somehow move this printer, which means I have to figure out all of this. So it's like a bookshelf slash office organization video. So my first task is going to be figuring out how to move this printer area and the calendars over so that I can push the bookshelf in. Because once I can push the bookshelf in, I can figure out how I'm gonna organize this hot mess. So let's, let's figure this out. Shall we? I moved this all to here and I moved this bookshelf that is not organized at all to here. The next step is figuring out where all of the stuff that I moved goes, including the printer that is now in the hall. So before actually I'm going to figure out where to put that next and then we'll start talking about organizing the shelves. Hello. Okay. I figured out the down underneath the desk situation. And now we have all this stuff on the desk. So the next step is to organize the desk and then we finally will get to the bookshelf. This is the last step before I finally actually organize the books. But I really wanted this bookshelf in here so that all my books will fit. So let me think about this now. <laughs> Just like that, we have a clean desk. Woo, woo. Now, I do want to like, I also, the problem is like, I have too much stuff in this office. Like, if you look, we don't have enough storage for things. So, I'm going to try and make that look a little prettier. But honestly, like, that's not the end goal here. The end goal is the bookshelves. And my husband is going to help me organize them in just a second. All right, update. That looks so much better. So does this whole area and I had my husband 
put that up because I didn't want to see the mess that is in the closet. And now it's time to actually organize all these books and this cart and this bookshelf. And my husband is going to help. I have to explain what you're doing. I'm, I'm filming before you go. And you're sitting right in the way. This is a bookshelf organization video. Okay, I've got the hubs and the babe to help me. Really just the hubs. So I've made the hubs goal is to organize this bookshelf, to put all my Harry Potters together, and then all my classics together, and then all the Bible stuff together. Harry Potter. <laughs> Don't listen to him. And then all of the Chronicles of Narnia and the series of Unfortunate Events books together. And then we're going to move any books that I've already read, so my Jody Picoult books, and then this one other shelf, over to this bookshelf. And so he's going to work on that. Or we're both going to work on that. And then we'll check back in when it's done. Yeah. Right? Sure. Right. All right. Say, I'm just going to leave the camera. Say, right let's there. do it. Let's do it. All right. top which I'm going to get rid of that stuff in a minute uh so far we had all my Harry Potter books and then classic novels and then we have Jodi Picoult books that I've read and book of the month that I've read except for the goldfinch at the end because that's not a book of the month and then we have a bunch of bible stuff and then chronicles of Narnia series and then series of unfortunate events and some pregnancy books and then we have a bunch of random books including books that I have read and loved at the bottom and we have a little bit of space left over so good job. Here's our first shelf. Onward bound. Woohoo. Here we go. Homeward bound. Homeward bound. Thanks for pointing that out, Hub. This person staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe put giraffe dude there. Why am I going to put <laughs> books there? Yeah, I will, but for now, because that's all my romance. Okay. That's a little odd. I don't like that. I don't like a giraffe and a deer by the romance. Oh, oh, oh the deer actually makes more sense because there's a... Yeah, 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 because of Twilight. Okay, all right. We moved all my Twilight books and vampire books up there. And then we moved my romance section right here and also there. And I moved my little giraffe character there. So now I think I'm going to start moving my contemporary up. And then we'll fit YA all together. Here we go. Me is 
how tight this is. But whatever, it's fine. Okay, so then let's move no, this up. be able to see on video be like, that looks really tight. <laughs> All right, let's move this. I have moved all my Sarah J masses to their own section. Don't worry, I will zoom in on all of my bookshelf at the end of this whole thing. And then I moved more fantasy down here and more fantasy down here. Wow, I have three shelves of fantasy. Woo! All right, last section is all of my thriller and horror and YA. So that's what we are moving next. Oh God, why is this so zoomed in? <laughs> okay, I need a wider lens. I need That's the next thing I need to save up for. A longer lens. I want to get a wider lens, and I also want to get one of those super zoom ones, so I can like go out into the wilderness and be like, ooh, look at that little stick from far away. And get a picture of a stick for you. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, it's been wild. This doesn't this look so much better. That's my my son's being very loud. So that's my YA section. So now we've got all this, and the last thing to tackle is thriller over there. Bum bum bum. Since I quit this job, I recall it still. Yeah, just like that. I walked out that door.
we'll just go top to bottom. Ta-da! All my vampire stuff. All my romance books and more of my romance books. And then a little bit of YA because then we move down here. This is probably my favorite shelf, I'm not going to lie. Like, that is just gorgeous. And then there's more YA down there. Then we go up here to, like, contemporary and regular fiction. More right here. A little horror is over here. And then we have my Sarah J. Moss shelf. I'm not going to lie. I really love that shelf, too. And then we have my fantasy, which just behind here is City of Glass. And then those Six of Crows and stuff. And more adult fantasy down here. We go up here to all of my book of the month and some non-book of the month thrillers and horrors. More thriller and horror. More thriller and horror. More thriller and horror. I really like my thriller and horror. And then personal development. Over here I still have my cart, which is still books I am reading this month. And books I've read. And props and things I use for like photo shoots. And then up here is where I put all my journals and notebooks and planners. And then my Harry Potter and my classics like I showed earlier. And then Book of the Months that I've read, Jodie Picoult's that I've read, Bible books, uh, Series of Unfortunate Events and Chronicles of Narnia, and pregnancy books. And then a bunch of other miscellaneous books that I have read. And so that is my bookshelves at a glance. And honestly, I could not be happier with how they turned out. Especially the Sarah J. Mass shelf in that shelf. Anyway, I hope that this was, I don't know, exciting to watch, fun to watch. It was fun for me. It took me forever, but I'm so happy because all of my books fit and the world is great. And that means, though, I can't really buy more books because I don't have room for them. I just don't. But I hope you liked this video. I'm just so happy that this is done. And hopefully it's inspired you to organize your bookshelf if your bookshelf is not yet organized. And with that, I will see you guys in a later, later video. Bye! <laughs>